morning everyone i welcome you all in science class students students today we are going to discuss the next topic of chapter number 7 so in previous video lecture we have discussed that living things are made up of cell now we are going to discuss the next characteristic of living thing that is living things grow all living things grow puppy puppy uh, puppies grow into dogs kitten grow into cats a baby grows into an adult human being even the plant also grow it also show the growth and the growth of the plant is unlimited whenever uh, means uh, whenever they are alive they show the growth right their growth never stops but animal human beings they have limited growth right they grow up to certain age even though single cell organisms like amoeba yeast they also grow when they grow as you know amoeba and yeast both are single cell they are their body their body are made up of single cell right so in the cell they have some uh, parts they have some parts and uh, when it show uh, the growth basically when there is a in uh, there is increase in the amount of cell material right when there is a increase in the amount of cell material even though multicellular organisms like he, all these are multicellular organisms right when they sh uh, show growth means when they grow when there is a increase in the number of size increase in the number of cell not in the size number of cells right by cell division so the growth of plants and animals is internal right is internal next we have living thing show adaptation now the word adaptation it's a new word for you adaptation is basically the ability of only and this ability only or uh, living things have right this ability only living things have basically what is adaptation it is the ability of living things to change themselves according to the environment right it's the ability of living things to change themselves according to environment according to the environment means uh, organism living organisms have one special type of capability that they can get adjusted according to the surrounding they get they can get adjusted according to the surrounding right they have some special features that meet the demand of the environment and they get get easily adjust adjusted in the surrounding right the adjustment according to the change in their surrounding right let us suppose uh, when uh, we are in a hot place right so we uh, accordingly our body get adjusted according to the hot place now when we move to any hilly area then uh, there our body also get adjusted according to the hilly area that is what that is adaptation that is adaptation next characteristic is living things show movement all the living things all the organism whether plants and animals all living beings show movement right show movement now there is a uh, two uh, words for the movement right for the motion first movement itself and other one is locomotion right movement is basically in biology movement the change in the position of one body part when there is a change in the position of one body part that is called movement and when whole body move one place to another place that is called locomotion let us suppose i am sitting on my chair and i am moving my hands this is what Mo uh, movement but when i shift from my place right that is what my whole body changes its place so that is locomotion animals always show locomotion right and plants show only movement as you know plant has to stand upright in one position they have they are fixed in one position uh, also show movement right plants also show movement how they show the parts of, of plant parts of plant move in the direction of stimulus now what is stimulus stimulus is basically any change in the environment and how organism react accordingly that is called 
stimulus let us suppose uh, if i touch a touch me not plants right touch me not plant when the uh, when i touch the touch me not plant the uh, leaves get folded right so what touching the touch me not plant is what stimulus and the reaction of touch me not plant is response basically right and uh, and such type of movement in the parts of plant in the direction of stimulus are called tropic movements or tropis right next one we have living things need food and energy all the living thing whether it is single cell or multi cell each living organism needs food and energy for the survival right but plants have another one special uh, capability to prepare their own food right by the process of photosynthesis photo means life and synthesis means making the plant prepare their own food in the presence of light only right so such type of plants are called autotrophs which can prepare their own food right and the uh, organism which are dependent on the plants as they cannot prepare their own food they are dependent animals and non green plants they are called heterotrophs they are called heterotrophs next living things respire to get energy as you know that living thing earlier like just few minute back we discussed that living thing need food and energy now each and every living thing prepare means uh, get the food and how the food get converted into energy by the process of respiration right by the process of respiration living thing get the energy when the food burns out by using oxygen right and this process is called respiration right how the living organism take up the oxygen in from the air by breathing like right? uh, for example i am breathing only done in animals and human beings right the process and what is breathing the process of taking in fresh air and giving out used air that is called breathing so i hope you have understood all the characteristics rest we will discuss in our next class that's it thank you and have a nice day ahead